Holy shit, bro. With Moments by Michaela. Let's get it started. Hello you guys, welcome to another vlog. So it is currently Monday, March 1st. I literally cannot believe that it is freaking March. I'm turning 21 on the 17th, so this is my birthday month. But I just feel like this year, it feels like it just started. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is because when you get older, time goes by faster or what. I just literally don't know where the time went. I don't know, I just feel like it's something maybe weird happening within the universe time's going by faster i don't know maybe it's just me let me know if you guys are experiencing this it just feels like my life is on a time lapse and it's just going by so fast it's just weird anyways last year unfortunately like right when my birthday started it was right when covid started so i had to cancel like my birthday get together this year it's not looking too pretty so definitely gonna just be something really small it's whatever i feel like here like i'm really glad that i'm not turning 21 in the states because here where i live in canada the age is 19 for drinking so I got to celebrate my 19th birthday go out to the clubs and everything before COVID hit so I'm really glad that 21 isn't the age here I just feel like that's way too late to start drinking like that's way too late to start going out clubbing like I, I feel like I'm already done clubbing like I had my time whoever's turning 19 or whatever your legal drinking age is this year or last year I guess that sucks but they'll eventually reopen anyways um so I'm just about to go film a video I'm doing recreating Pinterest outfits so I just did my makeup. I put on a comfy outfit to film. Yeah, it is already 111, 111. Look at that. So I'm gonna go film that and I'm just gonna update you guys throughout the day. You know the drill. Also, I got this shirt at Garage when I went shopping over the weekend and it's so cute. Anyways, I'm gonna go film. Actually, I kinda wanna make a coffee. Okay, let's go make a coffee first because I didn't even have one today. I feel like I mentioned this in a vlog, like maybe a few vlogs ago, I'm not sure, but I need to mention it again. So these sweatpants are from H&M and they're so nice. They were only $20 and if you get a pair like this at Aritzia, they'd be like $80. So I would go check out your H&M and like, I don't know, they just fit really well. H&M is, I feel like, so underrated and they have really cheap basic shit. Why are you so obsessed with me? But I wanna know okay, let's go Hello you guys. So I'm currently in the midst of filming and I'm literally just smack in the middle. I've been filming for two and a half hours now and I just need a dance break. I need a dance party. So I'm like, why not turn on the camera? Why not include you guys in this dance party? Because I told you dancing to my favorite song at the moment just helps me revive and rejuvenate. Try it if you have never tried it. I swear to God, it works, okay? So I'm gonna cue it up and then let's start this dance party. Let's get it started. So this is Borderline by Tame Impala. Anyways, that was the dance party of the day, and I'm gonna get back to filming. I just needed that little boom. Bam. See you guys later. <laughs> What's up, you guys? We just finished filming the video. We're good to go now. So I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. Shoppers is my home. Shoppers is my love. I can literally spend hours. And I swear the employees are like questioning me, like, why is she staring in one spot for that long? But it's literally because I just love admiring and seeing all the cool products. It's like literally heaven to me. I just love looking at hair products, love looking at new products. So I have a Shoppers Drug Mart find. I mean, you can probably find this anywhere. It's probably not just at Shoppers Drug Mart, but that's where I got it. I got this fast. Vaseline all over body balm jelly stick and holy shit you guys this is just so practical if you guys have dry skin or eczema or anything this honestly 
is such a good lip balm. Like not even joking you, I don't know why, but the bigness of this stick, I just love, especially for lip balm. It's never gonna run out. $10 for this huge thing versus like a little lip sole was $5. Sorry, what? Literally so clutch and I get like dry patches during the winter a lot, like on my forehead because I have eczema. And this roller thing, if I just like put it on, it soothes it and it's perfect because it's so portable, so on the go. And it's just my favorite thing, especially for like chapstick. Like that's my product of the day. Also yesterday I picked up these new shampoos because I ran out of shampoo and I needed to get new ones. So I got this Pantene brand, but it's like the ones with like no sulfate. It's a fortifying damage repair sulfate free shampoo with castor oil and it smells so good. So I got that and then I also got the, the conditioner with it. So I'll let up to you guys on how that shampoo is because it's apparently supposed to be actually like good for your hair because there's no sulfates or any shit like that. If you guys are curious, I only wash my hair once a week. I know that sounds kind of gross, but I have really untamable frizzy hair. So whenever I wash it, I have to do something with it. Like I have to straighten it or else it just, it just doesn't look good. Washing my hair once a week is just way easier because I also don't want to apply too much heat damage to it because if I wash it like twice a week or three times a week, and I'd have to put heat on my hair two or three times a week, which I don't want to do. Pretty much what I do is I'll wash my hair on Saturday night or Sundays, and then it'll last me until like Wednesday with like good hair. And then once it reaches like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it'll be like very greasy. But at that point in the week, I'm just editing. So it's not like my filming days anyway. So I don't have to look presentable at all for you guys. And honestly, maybe I would wash it more often if my hair wasn't so unmanageable. But since it is unmanageable, it just saves the heat on my hair and it keeps it way more healthier, grows faster this way. So yeah, that's what I do. If you guys are curious. Which you're probably not, but like, I just like to share, okay? Tonight is bachelor night and I need to record it. It's about to come off. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll catch you guys when I pick up the camera next. All right, you guys, so I'm currently heading out. Ooh. Also, there's a, an extremely beautiful sunset happening at the moment. I say this every vlog, but I'm in pure, deepliest love with sunsets. They are the love of my life. How do you feel about that? I'll be number two. <gasps> Holy shit, bro. We're on the way to the grocery store right now because we're gonna be making homemade pizzas for dinner. We had that last night and we're just going to make them again, but we don't have enough supplies. We have some stuff left, but not enough. So I'm just gonna pick up like the extras that we need to make them. So yeah, that's gonna be a our little trip. Also, I'm so excited because daylight savings is happening in like two weeks. Therefore, it's gonna get darker a lot later on in the day. So that's amazing and less depressing. We're gonna have more daytime. Okay. I'm literally stopped on the side of the road because the sun is literally just so gorgeous right now I need to I need to soak it in. We need to get outside and we need to soak the sun in. We're stopping the car and we're getting out And we're going to go enjoy the sunset right now Okay, so while we're stopped here with this literally beautiful sunset, by the way, we're literally just walking the track right now until the sun fully sets because it's just so beautiful. I just thought that I would do a segment with Moments by Michaela. So today I was thinking and I saw this video and they were saying how we only ever really focus on the future or we're so caught up on our past that we barely spend time in the present. And I was thinking about that like, wow, that is so true. Society is always like, you have to prepare for your future. You have to go to college for your future. You have to do this for your future. And then that just takes away time from the from the present. We rarely focus on the present moment. We're always thinking, oh, what are we gonna do next? Oh, I'm looking forward to this next month. But it shouldn't be that way. We should enjoy this moment because we're gonna look back in it, on it one day and miss it. Like, do you guys know when you look back on your memories and you're like, oh my God, I wish I was in that moment again. And that is why we need to just cherish the moments right now. Yes, you could look forward to things, but I feel like while we're looking forward to things, we look forward to things too much and forget that we need to enjoy the moment of life that you're in right now because they're gonna be gone. You're gonna wish you were back in that stage of life and you weren't even appreciating it when you were in that stage of life. Point being, just like try and focus more on the present, be more in tune with your present self and just cherish every single moment because you're never gonna get that back. I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited for summer. Summer, like I want summer to be here but then I was thinking I should cherish 
this time before summer and leading up to it you know what i'm saying and like the moments that happen before summer happens because then if i'm gonna just be looking forward to summer it's gonna come too fast and then it's gonna leave too fast and then what i have nothing left so focus on the present y'all do it try it and you'll be a lot happier and less stressed because you don't need to stress so much about your future no one knows what the future holds for you and that's kind of the beauty of it you just got to go along with life follow your intuition and let it flow anyways we just did one lap of the track while i was talking my arms hurting from holding the camera up but we're gonna leave this now because the sunset is basically set so we're gonna head on to the grocery store now <laughs> and get some groceries Literally, my pride and joy is right sitting beside me. Excuse me? You buy me my ginger. Oh, cutie shit! <laughs> this progressively gets really intense. <laughs> Anyways. Got into your video by accident. <laughs> Bubbled water is so good. It tastes like you're drinking pop. It tricks your brain. But in reality, you're just drinking water. So every time I feel like a pop, I take out a bubbly water and it soothes the craving and it just way healthier. So cheers. Not sponsored. And bubbly, if you do want to send me some packs That'd to test great. out more, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Feel free. I'll send you my address. Oh, this looks literally divine. So good. Honestly, to make your own pizza, it's really easy. It's like a fun pizza night, you know? Just put so much fun into it. Alrighty, so I'm just about to watch The Bachelor and I have my little smart sweets. I have a really bad sugar addiction. Like, I love my candy a little bit too much. And if I eat too much candy, then I break out all over my face. But since these smart sweets only have three grams of sugar, I don't break out all over my face. Smart sweets, if you're watching this, feel free to send me all your flavors. We're gonna watch now, so I'll catch you guys later. So it is currently 10 o'clock and my bed time is in half an hour we just finished watching the bachelor so <gasps> y'all are literally contagious let me know if you guys yawned in the comments down below because i if someone yawns i will yawn like isn't that such a weird concept that yawns are contagious like <gasps> even talking about them i i yawn oh my gosh i just gotta stop talking about yawning or i'm still gonna i'm gonna keep yawning i just really wanted to come on here and show you guys there's this like trend on tiktok going around that like you're converting girls into guys and it's so funny i'm gonna put my picture of what i look like as a guy wait a damn minute it is just so funny kind of really scary but kind of really funny and it's like what the hell like if i were to be a guy i'd be come out like that so in case you guys were curious this is real this is me Holy. you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start relaxing i really need to buy a book i, I really want to start reading because my boyfriend reads before bed so i want to start reading before bed it just seems really smart so we're gonna we're gonna get on that okay we're gonna do a little social experiment my boyfriend's in the bathroom right now and i'm gonna go put the camera down just like pretending like i'm gonna vlog like something in there so i'm gonna put the camera down and then i'm gonna yawn and then we're gonna see if he yawns back let's go what are you doing oh just i'm gonna film myself while i'm getting ready Vaseline. the only way to get vaseline off is to rub it on the freaking towel <gasps> Be on him. Okay. Seriously, I wasn't even faking that to you. Like that was literally. Oh, oh, there's something wrong with me right now. What the hell is happening? Oh, oh my god, I'm it's, I'm feel when I'm coming on again. This can't happen. I need to stop recording. Okay, I'll be back. Maybe I don't know. Hello. Huh? Are you gonna be quick, bro? Like, don't film your shit. Just do it quick. Oh my gosh, fatty pimple. Can't wait to put on a pimple patch. This is experiment that'll work. Well, I'm just gonna give up on that because apparently, well, no, that doesn't work. But I feel like they just weren't paying enough attention, so maybe that's why. This looks like a shit. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay you guys, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I'm just gonna get ready and chillax. Go to bed now. I hope you guys had so much fun hanging out with me today because I had so much fun talking to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and let me know anything you guys want to see next. Yeah, I literally love you guys so much and thank you so much for all your sweet comments all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching up until this point especially. You made it through all my rambling. You made it through everything in the vlog. Also, if you guys get really annoyed at me but you still want to watch my videos watch it in 1.5 times speed or 1.25 then the video will go by faster for you so you're welcome anyways yeah hope you guys enjoyed have a great wonderful day night evening whatever just don't forget to live in the present moment be positive i love you guys so much peace out Everybody knows. do i already have too much energy Oh.